In this video, we'll introduce you to Scrivener's main interface and how you can use it to navigate around your projects. This will be a brief overview because many of these features will be expanded upon in other videos. This video will get you familiar with the elements of Scrivener which you're likely to use on a regular basis. I'll create a new project using the blank template. Once I've chosen where to save the project, Scrivener opens this window with the toolbar at the top, the binder on the left hand side, and the editor occupying the rest of the window. We'll start at the top. The toolbar contains buttons for common features like searching your project, adding or trashing a document, compiling the project, and some other navigational features which we'll touch on later. You can also customize the toolbar to include a number of other buttons, depending on which features of Scrivener you end up using regularly. The binder on the left shows you the contents of your entire project and allows you to navigate between them. Think of it like a ring binder. You can use it to flip between documents and groups of documents, but also rearrange the contents of your project into whatever order suits you best. By default, the binder will always contain at least three folders, labelled Draft, Research, and Trash. The Draft folder is where you'll be storing any documents you want to include in the finished manuscript. The Research folder can contain both documents and media files, such as pictures or videos you want to refer to while you're writing, and the trash is just like the trash on your desktop, a place to get unwanted documents out of the way until you choose to delete them permanently. It's also possible to add blank documents and new folders to your binder using these quick buttons on the bottom row. To the right of the binder we have the main editor, which is where you will write or view research. Clicking on an item in the binder will open it in the editor. By default, documents in the editor will appear as a continuous scroll, without showing clearly defined margins or page breaks. If you would prefer a page view, go to View, Text Editing, Show Page View to toggle this on and off. Immediately above the text field you'll see a header bar. This shows the title of the document, which you can edit here, and you'll notice the document title changes in the binder as well. Control clicking on this bar will show a few options, most notably the option to reveal the document in the binder, which is an easy way of locating the document you're working on in the structure of a larger project. At the bottom of the editor, the footer bar has information about the document you're viewing, such as the current word count. You can click on this to get a quick overview of your document statistics. You can also control the text zoom level from this pop-up menu in the corner, allowing you to change the text display size without changing the actual font size. Above the editor, you'll find the format bar, which contains options which should be familiar to anyone who's used word processing software before. The formatting of text can be controlled here by changing styles, adjusting fonts, setting alignment, adding bullets, and so on. You can show the ruler by using the keyboard shortcut Command R, or going to View, Text Editing, Show Ruler, allowing you to see and adjust margins and tab stops. Another important element of Scrivener's interface is the inspector. This can be opened by clicking the blue I icon in the toolbar, or using the keyboard shortcut Command Option I. The inspector has a few different tabs which contain information about the document currently shown in the editor. A synopsis and notes can be added here, you can view metadata, comments and footnotes. There are also tabs for bookmarks and snapshots, all of which we'll cover in separate videos. For now we can close the inspector again the same way we opened it. Sometimes you might want to view two documents at once, to easily copy or compare information between the two. This can be done by splitting the editor using this button on the right of the editor's header bar. By holding the Option key, you can change the split between horizontal and vertical orientations. Split options are also available from the View – Editor Layout menu. While the editor is split, you can click on either editor and you'll notice the header bar turns blue to show you which editor is in focus. Only the In Focus editor will be affected by the binder, so you can navigate around the binder in this editor while the other one remains static. You can also drag a document from the binder into the header bar of either editor to switch it to that document. Clicking the corner icon in either editor will expand that document to take up the full editor window again. If you prefer to get the interface out of the way and just spend some quality time with the words on the page, you can click the Compose button in the toolbar or hit Command Option F to enter a full screen composition mode. A few display options are available if you move the cursor to the bottom of the screen, and if you click this icon in the lower right corner or just hit the Escape key, you will return to the regular Scrivener interface. Hopefully by now you have a basic idea of how to navigate around the Scrivener interface, and that's all we're going to cover in this video. If you want to learn more about the features of Scrivener, our other videos should be linked nearby. Thanks for watching, and happy writing!